Oh, I'm behind the cage. Am I not a man? Am I an animal? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, can we get out of here? Oh, man. Wait. Oh, we can still buy stuff? Hey, that guy out there actually is a shop. I knew he did, and I was actually going to show it last episode, but I didn't actually know that if you go and save it, you're locked in. Interesting thing to know. Um, we don't need any of this shit. I just wanted to see what he had, just to prove that there was a shop. Anyway, I was going to talk to everybody out there, but I guess I fucked up by going inside and saving it. Oh well, up the tower we go. We have to protect Sector 7 at all costs. Biggs, you okay there, bro? Uh, dude, you don't look so good. Yeah, maybe we should go worry about Bear. We'll, we'll come back for you, though. You, you look like you're going to live. You're just barely hanging on by a thread, so to speak. Now, I'm pretty sure when you run up here, there's random battles, but I could be mistaken. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not. There should be ran uh, at least one random battle before we- there we go. Here we go. Pretty sure it's one of these little, like, pro yeah, propeller-looking bastards. Um, I think if you hit them, you can knock them off their propeller. Uh, if you can hit them, apparently. I didn't know they were going to be that difficult to hit. Suck on that, propeller bitch. Propeller Bob. Now, what is his name? I didn't even look at his name. Aero Combatant. Very sophisticated and proper name. Now, die. I guess I could steal from him, see what he holds, if he holds anything. Can't hurt. Eh, who cares? I failed. So be it. Now, he did. The likelihood we run into at least one more before we get to the top is pretty good, so... I'm not going to worry about it too much. If, it, if they had something notable worth stealing, I would let you know. But I've, I've pretty much taken notes on all the things worth stealing along the way in the game. And I'll try and steal at least one of all those things. Anyway, here's Jess. Is she okay? One last time. Don't say last. What are you trying to say? That we're all going to die here? Oh, come on. That's just so morbid to think that this is the end. This can't be the end. Alright, anyway. There's a guard over here. Dead. Shin regard. But first, let's fight one more battle. Should we? Should we? Should we? Oh, two propeller men this time. Let's go ahead and hit them up with some steel, baby. I just want to steal one thing from them. I just want to see what it, what they have. Nope. Oh, wow. You can steal and their propeller falls down? Well, that is convenient, I suppose. Um, wait. I said steal, bitch. What you got? <sighs> Nothing. One thing I should note, now that Eris left the party, uh, her materia was unequipped, so I went ahead and put it on Tifa, and I literally put all of it. So Tifa now has all of the magic, lightning, fire, and bolt. Um, yeah. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up since I did that off screen. I guess I could have did that on screen, but I just didn't think about it. I just did it. Like, oh, I should do that. I just, yeah, it happened. <sighs> I'm wasting my time trying to steal from these guys. I really am. Just take one. Whatever one is, get it. Oh, my God. Cloud, why must you be such a failure? And why am I saving my magic? Just use your magic. Could have already killed both these guys if I used some goddamn magic. Ah! All right, bolts. We use some bolt on this guy. And he did. Come on. Damn it. Cloud, what has happened to you, my friend? You used to be so good at this. He's got a limit break now, too. Um, fuck it. Limit break. Now, you know what? I'm going to save that limit break for obvious reason. Oh, wow. All that for a goddamn potion. Well, fuck of the world. Fuck of the world. I'm actually, like I said, I'm not even going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and let Tifa finish this guy off. Fuck it. I'm going to save my limit break for the obvious of what's about to come. Nope. Defend. Come on, Tifa. Get that last turn. This is this should be a form right here, I hope. I don't want to drag this out any longer than I already have. Let's get this bullshit over with. And actually, before I get one step further, I want to heal up Cloud a little bit. He got a little bit hurt in them battles. I let him get too much of a beat down. Get a potion in on there. Eh, one more. Get him up there, closer to his max HP. Hey, yo, Barrett. What have you done? Killing bitches over here and shit. Yo, Tifa, Cloud, you came. 
Be careful. The attack from that helicopter up there. Those scary ass bitches. Better equip ourselves with blah, 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 blah. So if we go to the menu, we can actually equip Barrett up right now. Since we haven't had him. Oh, oh, oh! Or you pressed the wrong button. Because uh, we haven't had Barrett in our party in a minute. So let's go ahead and give him. Oh! Uh, Eris still has the Titan Bangle. Not cool, Eris. Bow guarding the Titan Bangle and shit. Bye. Anyway, I'm going to take one of these magics off of her. And go ahead and put it on Barrett. So he'll have some magic. Otherwise, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and give him cover as well. He has the most um, HP. So most HP equals the guy who gets to have the cover. Everybody else? We're good? Um, Anything else? No, we're good. Let's just do this. We're ready. Let's, let's go, bro. Here they come. Oh, God. Who's they? And how many of them is there going to be? Oh, it's this bastard again. If you remember the church, once I push this button... Uh-oh. That's all, folks. Mission accomplished. Fucking Reno. We have to disarm this shit. We have to. Otherwise, Sector 7 is doomed. Oh, no. Well, I guess that means it's boss time. Boss music kicks in. Hell yeah. One on three with Reno. This should be fun. Oh, and he kicks it off with the most annoying move in the battle. Fucking pyramid. Alright, the way you stop the pyramid is you shoot it when one of your teammates is inside of it. And that's how you do that. Do not let all three of your teammates get stuck in a pyramid. That will equal instant loss. Also, do not use bolt magic on him. He is immune to lightning. I don't think he absorbs it, but he definitely is immune to it. Uh, can we steal from him? I don't... Does he have anything to steal? No, nothing to steal. That's pretty concise. Oh, look, we get to use a beat rush. Oh, yeah, I got it. I didn't think I... I thought I hit it too early. Works for me. Uh, I, I like to keep one person ready to attack just in case somebody else gets put in a pyramid. I have to admit, I have... Oh, whoa. Hey, I wanted to attack the pyramid. Hello. Um, I have to admit, I have lost this battle because of everyone in my party got caught in a pyramid. I have to make that sad guilt guilty admission admission it really does suck but it has happened to me in the past um, there's really no reason to drag this battle on any longer than you need to since you can't steal anything unless you really want to have him beat you down for a minute and use up some limit breaks or something but really the natural flow of things is good enough in this game oops I should have waited for cloud to attack because now Par Bar Parrot Barrett can't use his attacks uh pyramid get off of him how dare you and yes you have to hit those pyramids with a physical attack magic will not work that's a heads up for anybody who was trying magic and it didn't work what am i just sitting there wasting barrett's time how much longer are you gonna last there bitch oh he's gonna let cloud get one more regular attack in, or limit break in i'm gonna use it the faster we can get better limit breaks the better cross slash i'm gonna go ahead and use an ice attack even though it's probably over. Yep, that's it. It's time. And Reno says PC ZBZ because he doesn't die this early in the game. He's too cool. He's one of those recurring characters in the game that's too cool to die when you first fight him. Don't worry. We may or may not get our day of reckoning against the Turks. May or may not. Being the operative words. So anyway, Tifa's trying to do that shit. And Damn! It's a time ball! I don't see a timer. Do you? I don't know how to stop this. Try it. Oh, yeah. Let me just bang on some buttons. And the Turks music kicks in once again. Uh-oh. See somebody we recognize up there? It'll blow the second some stupid jerk touches it. Oh, yeah? Stop it. <laughs> Only a Shinra executive can set up or disarm the emergency plate release system. Ah. <sighs> God, this fucking guy. Shut your bitch ass up! I would try that. You might just make me injure our special guest. By the way, the way you pronounce this guy's name is Tutsing! No, it's probably just Sing or Sang, however you want to pronounce it. The T is probably silent. But ever since I've started playing, or ever since I first played this game, back when I played with my cousin, we've called him Tutsing! Because we're racist like that. We were also like 10 years old, so give us a fucking break. 
How nice of you to see each other one last time. You should thank me. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with Eris? I haven't decided. Our orders were to find and catch the last remaining ancient. Quit calling her like she's old lady. She's not ancient. Anyway, back to the president, huh? Seems like there's some overlying plot going on around here with Eris. Will we ever find out what it is? Hmm. Oh! You did not just slap her. How dare you! Get out! Well, it'll be starting right about now. Think you can escape in time? And I like this, like, frantic music. I really like it. And here we go with a cool cutscene where we actually watch the pillar explode. No! Oh, no. I don't think we're going to be able to save Sector 7 in time, guys. We might have fucked up. I guess all we can do now is save ourselves. And Baird is just going to run around like a madman. Once that plate starts coming down, it'll be too late. we got to hurry. Hurry with what? I don't think I can press any buttons, so I guess, Barrett, you got any ideas? What, where are you going, man? What are you doing up there? Yo, we can use this wire to get the fuck out of here. Oh, cool. Like Tarzan and shit? All right, let's go. <laughs> I always like this, because Cloud sits on his shoulder while Tifa's in his arms. Ah, it's such a interesting like uh, position they got themselves in to swing down. But yeah. There goes the Sector 7 pillar, er, plate. Pillar down, plate down. Say night-night to all the people in Sector 7. Supremely fucked up. Bam. And we barely swing to safety. Right into the playground. Goddamn. Huh. I wonder if anyone survived. And look at the president just sitting up there in his fucking tower watching it all happen. The comfort of fucking office building. Look at the Shinra building. I fucking love the Shinra building. Look at that shit. Beautiful. Kind of took you out of the moment, I know, but I love that building. Oh, God. So jacked up. Oh, God. So sad. Oh, man. Don't even get Barrett started. But don't worry, he'll start it up for us, because holy shit. Prepare to hold back tears. Marlene! 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 Biggs! Wedge! Jesse! God damn it! Damn it! Oh, damn it all! What the hell is it all for? Ugh. Barrett, calm your bitch ass down. Ugh. Hey, man. Barrett, stop. Please stop. <laughs> Just firing his gun like a madman. Gotta... Got a feel for him, though. God damn it. Marlene. Barrett. Marlene is... I think Marlene is safe. Huh? Right. Right before they took air, she said, Don't worry, she's alright. She was probably think talking about Marlene. Duh. R really? But... Biggs. Witch. Jesse. All three of them were in the pillar. Yep, that means they are dead. You think I don't know that shit? But we all of us fought together. I don't want to think of them as dead. And the other people in Sector 7, what are you going to say about them? This is all screwed the fuck up. They destroyed an entire village just to get to us. They killed so many people. Are you saying it's our fault because Avalanche was here? Innocent people lost their lives because of- Duh! What the hell do you think he's saying? This fucking Captain Obvious over here, Tifa. No, Tifa! That ain't it! Hell no! If it ain't us, it's the damn Shinra! It's never been nobody but the Shinra. They're evil and destroying our planet just to build their power and line their own damn pockets with gold! If we don't get rid of them, they're gonna kill this planet! Our fight ain't never gonna be over until we get rid of them. 
don't know. What don't you know? You don't believe me? It's not that. I'm not sure about me. My feelings. Oh, God. A typical woman. This is not the time. And what about you, spiky head? Hey, you. I'm talking to you, ass. Where the fuck does he think he's going? Oh, Eris. Oh, yeah. That girl. What was up with that bitch? I don't really know, but she's the one I left Marlene with. Damn! Marlene! Tifa, there ain't no turning back now. There ain't no getting off of this train we are. I think that's a line he says later, but I you know it's use it's applicable right now. Can we go back right now? No, we can't. Okay, let's Are you shitting me? We have to fight a random battle as Cloud by himself? That's not cool, game. You know what? Fuck you, game. For that I run away. I flee. I flee in the face of one on oneness. Not that I can't win this battle, I just refuse to fight it because we're about to get everybody back in our party in like two seconds. Yo, Cloud! Take me to Marlene now! You're gonna help Eris? Yeah! Oh, this is Cloud, sorry. Yeah, but before that, there's something I wanna know. What's that? It's about the ancients. <laughs> Fucking white ass, flashing ass shit. My veins, the course of the ancients, I'm one of the rival heirs of the planet. He must be having another one of those flashbacks. Sephiroth. Uh oh. Are you alright, bro? Pull it together, man! Alright, everyone's back together, but first let's head back to the playground. Right quick. But of course, we have to fight. Another Hell House. Better three on one than one on one. No. Go much smoother with a pole party. Let's use a little bit of magic. Burn the house down, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean. Um, I'm not sure if these guys have anything worth stealing. Maybe I should try it. Now that I have the steel materia in this area that we've been to before, I didn't think about trying to steal from these guys. Let's see what they have. And I don't know if you guys really took a closer look at what this thing turns into when all of its orifices start sprouting things, but look at there's like a skeleton hanging out the front of it. Fucking have it's like a demon hand on one side and like rocket boosters in the backside. It's a very strange thing, to say the least. Oh, I was gonna cure it up, but that's alright. We'll just cure next battle. Because you know there's gonna be at least one more before we get back to the other side. We're actually heading to Eris's house right now, if that wasn't obvious already. But first, I wanted to head back here for like one goddamn second and pick this up. This is the sense materia. Which is essentially like scan in pretty much every other RPG game. Or, nah, just just any uh, uh, Final Fantasy game for sure. Scan. Basically scans enemies' uh, weaknesses, their HP, stuff like that. I'll try it out just to show you. I probably won't use it very often. Um, I might use it on bosses just to show you sometimes. But I'll probably forget or I might not have it equipped when I'm fighting a boss. So I'm not always going to use it. Wow, I can't believe I got through that whole area without fighting a battle. I know I just fought another one right here, but I can't believe I fought one without fighting a battle in there. That was pretty impressive. Anyway, let's burn down the house. Anyway, I'll go ahead and use Sense right now just to kind of show you how it works a little bit. So that's a Hedgehog Pie, level 6. 40 HP, 52 MP. He's weak against the cold. So Ice probably kicks his ass. Duly noted. In that case, let's use an ice attack with Barrett. Just to kind of see how well ice does. Boom, 192 damage. Well worth it. See, that's basically the basic use of scan slash sense. Nice to know enemy weaknesses. Not every enemy has a real weakness, but that guy had a clear, obvious weakness that we could exploit immediately. Ice. All right, we're back here in Sector 5 slums. I want to see if the little kid can give me the item now or if I have to come back after I do the next little conversation part. It looks like, oh, he's awake. Let's talk to him. I bought an item with the money I'd saved. My dream is to grow up and become a big time dealer on Wall Market. I'm feeling pretty good today, so I'll let you have this. Yay, a turbo ether, which is actually a really good item. And what I'm going to do on the safe side is touch this Terrell's Paradise thing again because I know I got it a couple episodes ago or last episode. Uh, now I just got it three more times, so I think we'll be okay. God damn it. I keep pressing the damn uh, confirm button. 
I just wanted to be on the safe side. You can never be too cautious about getting those. Not that that one's really missable, because you can always come back here, uh, like, way later in the game and, and get it, but don't want to have to do that. Anyway. Wow, I didn't know we got to hear this theme so early in the game. This is Eris' actual theme song. Anyway. It's about Eris, isn't it? Oh. Well, that makes the most sense, if they actually came here and got her. That's what Eris wanted. Why is that what she wanted? She's an ancient, the sole survivor. And now we're gonna get a little bit of background on Eris. What the fuck did you just say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front. Some far place called Wutai. I love when people tell stories in, this, in games like this about places that you'll actually get to go in the game. Like, oh, this place called Wutai that you'll never get to see when you're pl in the, playing the game and never get context to. But in this game, you actually get to go to Wutai at some point. Pretty goddamn awesome. Albeit, going to Wutai is optional, but we're gonna go there in this Let's Play. I can guarantee you that. And I always thought this flashback was kind of interesting, because if, if you look down there by that pole, Biggs and Wedge are dancing around. I always thought that was interesting to see them there. 15 years ago, was there Biggs and Wedge? Or is it just people who have the same sprites as them? Or whatever. So anyway, Elmira's over here waiting for her husband to come back from Wutai. And uh, everybody's having these nice, cheerful reunions with their long-lost loved ones, or whatever. <laughs> and I always love that, when the chick swings the old man around like like he's the fucking light, light as a feather or some shit. She probably broke her back doing that shit. Anyways... So it's pretty blatantly obvious, you're right. Elmira's husband didn't make it back. At least not yet. But, yeah, she checked like every day or something like that. But anyway, he never is going to come home. Every day. Then one day... The song is very sad. Just the way it sounds is very sad, isn't it? So it looks like Elmira found a little girl and her mom just laid out on the stairs. And that guard is literally doing not a damn thing about it. Please take Eris somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely. So I decided to take her home with me and pretend that she was my daughter the entire time. Obviously, Eris already looks like she's old enough to not know. Or to, I mean, to know that Elmira is not her mom, her real mom. So it's not like she's going to think that it's her mom. <sighs> so she escaped from a research laboratory. They returned to the planet so she wasn't lonely. Blah, blah, blah. Return to the planet. I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant the star in the sky. But she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom? Flash her back? Please don't cry. Eris just blurted that out all of a sudden when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit is coming to see you, but he's already returned to the planet. Oh, apparently Eris can tell when other people are dead. She can sense it. She's one with the world. Maybe that's what it means to be an ancient. Could it be? Until one day... Tutsing! So Ting's already all grown up, too. Anyway. Uh, so he came to f get Eris back, huh? You're a special, very, very special child. You are of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. Found out she was an ancient. Okay. The l supreme land of happiness. Or the land of supreme happiness. Dealer's choice. Alright, well, don't you want to make everyone happy, Eris? Come on. I'm not an ancient. I'm not. I'm just a kid. Don't you hear voices? Aren't you crazy? She must be crazy. Even in the wizarding world, Harry, it's weird to hear strange voices in your head. So I acted like I never noticed. Treated her like a normal child, I did. Yeah, it is. 
Especially since fucking came to the fucking building like every two seconds. They don't want to hurt her, which is obvious. Looks like that she brought the girl here. Marlene might just be safe. Huh. And sacrificed herself to the fucking Shinra to save her, too. Marlene! Eris was caught because of Marlene! I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm, I'm really sorry. You're her father. How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? <laughs> Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I wanna be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. I know my voice isn't as low right now, but my fucking throat is dying right now. Cause if I don't, that planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. I just wanna be with her. Always. See? I'm going in circles now. Anyway, Barrett, go see your daughter already. Leave the conversation to us. What 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 makes you think you're the one that got Eris involved in this? Last time I checked, she got herself involved. Even Elmira thought so. Feel so depressed. Me too. We could. I know a way we could turn that frown upside down, baby. We'll deal with that later, though. Let's go talk to Bear right quick. See his cheerful reunion with his daughter. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're all right. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Was he rubbing his face all over her? Crazy man. Let's get out of here. Cloud. You gonna go help Eris, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinra's involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Eris asked me lots of questions. Like, what kind of person Cloud is? I bet she likes you, Cloud. Uh, let, let's hope so now. I won't tell Tifa. Why would that matter? Just kidding. Um, downstairs we go, I guess. We done here already? That was quick. We done? Get a sigh. It's my fault. Yeah, okay, so let's get the hell out of here. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. You're going after Eris, right? Hell yeah. Coming with you. Going to the Shinra headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. Oh, God, I love this part. Going to Shinra headquarters. Oh my God, I'm excited. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Without me, right? Fucking earthquake over here. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed now. Fair enough. Let's do this. And we out. About to go take Shinra on right in their own place. How do we even get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Well then, I guess we're gonna have to find another way. To the wall market, shall we? And we shall. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we head back to the wall market and find a way to get up to the Shinra building. But will it be so easy? I have no idea. See you guys then. Peace. Oh, <laughs>